All right, everybody. So the car has had a chemical decon. It has had a mechanical decon via the clay block stage. And now the, basically the car is ready. So what I'm planning on doing, like I've mentioned already, is we'll be doing spot testing on a car that again, we know is not in perfect condition, nor we're trying to get it to perfect condition. So my goal is I'm going to do um, some panels as a two-step. So basically a, a cut and refine, some with just a refinement stage, some of the parts are deconned, but not technically leveled. So the reason I'm doing this is because I want to test certain products' capabilities of how does it truly react on paint that is bumpy, that is slightly bumpy but shiny, and a completely level paint. And yeah, we'll see how it kind of acts up. Okay, so as a precaution, we have wiped down the entire car once again with our pre-production panel wipe. This will allow any residues that have potentially still remained somehow. It has definitely removed all the residue from our detail spray during the clean step. So now there'll, there'll be as little as possible interference during the polishing step. So the bonnet is going to receive a two stage, basically. I'm going to exfoliate it with our microfiber pad, again, our pre-production compound, and then I'm going to finish it down with a softer pad, with a softer polish. And then at that point, we're going to move into our special product. I won't reveal all with the product, but again, this is just another test to see this car is going to be living out into the open seven days a week. It's not going to be 100% not as washed as regularly as, as our fleet. And this will obviously just kind of solidify that kind of final cherry on the top on that development. And we'll see how it pans out. Now, just for reference, I'm going to show you the pad again. I haven't blown this pad out on purpose. The car has had, of course, as you've seen, a multi-stage wash, quite an aggressive wash. It's had a chemical and a mechanical decontamination. Now, you would still think that that is the, you know, the complete solution. Now, like I've said to you, this car has been sat. So, judging by the pad, there is also a lot of oxidation on the clear coat. So... The pad's perfectly white. You've seen I've done right in the center of the bonnet. And look at that pad consistency. Of course, I'm gonna blow it out. But this is the advantage of microfiber that it actually gets into the peaks and troughs, especially into the troughs. And it almost pulls out all the impurities that even clay can't touch. So now, as you will be able to tell, um, the bonnet at this point will be 100%, let's call it exfoliated. I'm not chasing anything. I'm just, I'm literally doing it a four or five pass action with a compound. I'm gonna do the same thing with a, uh, with a finishing polish. And that's just to give me as, as best base as possible. Again, like I said, this is not my car. So I'm not chasing perfection. In fact, she probably won't even notice I polished the car. So yeah, it's just for my own testing so I can do the best kind of flat base. So at least then the constant I will know the bonnet is in X condition, the wing is in Y condition, but as you've seen, I am exfoliating the paint quite a lot. One thing is still for sure, when these compounds land, look at that, six passes this was, generating some heat and wiping off like a wax. Woo, you guys have got something special coming up. Now I'm just wiping this with alcohol. I've let it sit for around 20 seconds. Like literally I, I went Rambo on the bonnet. I just doused it, let it eat into any of the polishes. And I'm just wiping it now. For now I'm using the one towel method. Because by the time I go and get my secondary towel, it'll even have even more sit time. I'm taking this bonnet test way too seriously. Now the amazing thing about this panel wipe is not only has it got multiple blend of alcohols to remove some of the oils, we've also got a citrus degreaser to make this one of the more bitey ones. And as you've seen, even me wiping it slash walking away get another towel it hasn't all fully flashed off so this has got a 
a medium flash time, which indicates to you that it's not just pure alcohol. Now, the reason I've done this, or the way I've developed it, is I want that maximum bond, and to really get the product to flash, you need that secondary towel to break that secondary film, and at, at that point, it just goes boof like this, but the point is, you want as much flash time, as, you, um, as much dwell time as you can, just so it can start eating into all your compounds. Now, this formulation has been our best kept secret for many, many years, and still, it's not even released. So this has been guarded 24 seven by the SAS, SBS, and the Navy SEALs during their lunch break. And then after all of them, I've gone to sleep, my dog guards this formulation. Now, this is truly, truly special. I am not even gonna tell you the spec of it. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise, but the one thing I will tell you is this product, before being exposed to the elements, has got a four hour cure time. Now, this is a true ceramic, okay? This is gonna be, I um, mean, I'm not even gonna tell you the name of it. I'm, just, I'm not giving people an inch on this one. Basically what this is, this is a sprayable coating. Now, of course, is it a five-year package? Absolutely not, but is it a multi-year package that can be applied as if you're applying a wax? Yes, it is. Now, the reason we've gone down this route as well is multiple reasons. Of course, we've got the big daddy coatings coming. We've got everything from the top range right down to someone like your grandmother can use it. We've got the durability is going high. We've got the durability is uh, the durability is going low. Now, this can be used as actually a secondary coat on top of your coatings. So this is the hyper slick uh, top coat, which can make any coating on the planet a two stage coating. Now, if you don't want to invest the time or the ultra heavy prep, this is exactly why this car exists right now in here. This coating can also be used. Now, if you want to make it a two-stage, it's fantastic. So if you've got some, um, some, com uh, some companies offer a, a warranty scheme where you only the coating is warrantable if you come back in for that maintenance kind of re-top up and you're not topping it with a, with a base heavy coating, you're normally topping it with you know that skin element of it. So this is exactly what this is. Now I'm gonna show you, so on purpose, as you can see, there is no towels around me because this has got a quite an interesting feature built into this. A lot of people always will ask, well, when do I know when to wipe this off? When do I know when it's flash? Well, we've inbuilt a specific solvent into this to where it rainbows, all dedicated around the world. Again, all climates are different, all humidity is different. But it will rainbow in your specific climate. So in my climate, it will tell me whether it's 10 seconds, three minutes. As soon as it starts to rainbow, it's time to remove. So again, two sprays, all right? I'm applying it and I will see. I know you won't see this, this was a black car, this would be awesome. Now. now this will be interesting because right now, for a good demonstration, I haven't put any of my AC dehumidifiers on, so I'm leaving it in natural ambience. No towels to be seen yet and I'll tell you if it starts to rainbow. Now, as you can see on the B-roll, it's just starting to rainbow. It's telling me, but it's good to go, but not all yet. This area specifically is the most affected. Now, what I'm gonna do again, you have to treat this as you normally would on your normal coatings. Now, see, now it's starting to come. Come on, baby. So the beauty of this is, as I said, I'm still not leaving it kind of unwiped. If you've got low humidity, high heat, this will flash a lot quicker. If it's, if it's low humidity, uh, or I'm sorry, if it's high humidity and there's a bit more moisture in the air, it will take a little bit more time to set up. But for me right now, I'm about, I think last time I checked about 62 humidity. So I'm up there, but I'm not super high. So again, your typical coating removal method, you are gonna level this 
ほほイエス。And I'm not even going to tell you the durability out of this, but this is sick. Let's just say this goes into the double digits in terms of months. Quite high as well. Past the 12 month mark. Now, again, see, I've just leveled it as normal. I'm going to take my secondary towel like you always do. And just literally, again, this is a courtesy wipe. This becomes more and more important as the number one towel becomes saturated. The first wipe is always the best because I've got two virgin towels. Boom. Boom shaka. Now, as I said, four hour cure time minimum. Now, of course, When this gets released, again, all the, all the relevant information will come out, but I'll say this even ahead of time. Please use your common sense. Don't time it to four hours, 32 seconds, and go, ah, he said four hours, let's roll it out. Let's say you finish the day, let's say it's now 5 p.m. on a normal, normal man's working hour. You've just finished coating, 5 or 1 p.m., you go home, leave it overnight. So when you get in for nine o'clock in the morning, what's that? Uh, 16 hours. Then it'll be even better. Of course, it gives the coating more time to set up.、Um, so, again, after this, it's early afternoon now. By the time、uh, I'm finished doing all of this, I will actually leave it overnight as well. And then I'll wheel the car out in the morning. Typical again, anywhere between five to seven days of no washing afterwards because the coating is still at the weakest point. It's cured enough to go outside, but it's not cured enough to go and see. Real premium, you know, strong detergents. Now, the reason I say five to seven days is because, again, if you roll it out into Arizona heat, where it's in,、um, in, in Celsius, it's, you know, 40 to 50 degrees, you'll be closer to that time because your car's basically a frying pan. And in fact, your car will be ready probably in 24, 36 hours to wash. If you roll it out into the UK right now, it's 18 degrees, maybe rain, maybe mist, maybe humid, you know. So that's why you, you get that elongated. Uh, cure time. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. This has been too long for us. It's coming. It's coming. All right, everybody. So, like I said to you yesterday, now I would leave this. Overnight, I haven't timed it exactly per hour. s I just thought overnight is enough just to keep the test bed as even as possible. So it, it has been cured, and we are going to wheel it literally straight out. My goal for this car is again, I'm going to wash it once a week, twice a week, weather dependent.、Um, is it going to throw my ACD,、uh, OCD sideways? Definitely not. Again, it's not one of our cars. I thought I would try and again hook her up type of thing and just do a little bit of testing on really kind of a bad canvas. So、uh, I normally don't film stuff like this because the beginning stages of testing I usually like to keep private. But on this one, I thought, you know, this car is a bit closer to home for us than some other kind of test cars. So I can keep it for a couple of days.、Uh, but we usually have, you know, anywhere between three to four. Different stages of testing on cars,、um, depending on, on the product, of course. So, this is phase one, this is as raw as it gets. So, some panels, for example, on this will be tread. Imagine, the, like I split panels into customer types. So, with this panel, this is kind of a me customer. So, imagine fully deconned, fully pain corrected, you know, as flat as humanly possible. We、we'll、then do a little segment on here. On there, we've done say a one stage. This is like a fairly conscientious customer, and he kind of knows what he's doing, but he doesn't know what he's doing. So, he's somewhere you know, between the 15 and 75% mark. There's another kind of customer on there. The rest of the car is we're trying to get into the mind of a customer of basically the worst job that's done and why will a product fail? Like, we're always thinking 27 steps ahead. So, when We do it say on this wing. It, in fact, this wing is actually a perfect example. This has not been cleared. This has not done anything apart from a wash and dry. Some panels have just been cleared. So, again, four different types of customers, same product, four different set of kind of conditions and outcomes. 
So again, I will wash it as and when I feel like it again, just to try and replicate that, you know, average wash customer once a week, once every fortnight. Uh, this car will get driven a lot more than any of our cars because this is just a one um, car in the household, whereas with us, we've got multiple cars, so we kind of split up the mileage. Um, and then again, on the future testing kind of stages, we're going to put it on some of our high milers in terms of our personal fleet, but the paint's perfect. And then we put it on some more of the cherished stuff where uh, we can actually do prolonged testing on, say, harsher products and harsher environments. So the car may have not done as much mileage as, say, as this, but then on, say, a weekend, I can then go and give it, on that week, 27 um, hits with citrus. The following week, I can get it 27 hits of, I don't know, an acid or an alkaline product. So we kind of start ramping it up. And this is, as I said, stage one. We'll see how we get on. Um, you've, of course, seen the water behavior. We've put it on, on glass. Again, pure trial. If it dies, it dies. If it sticks, it sticks. And again, the water behavior in the glass is amazing. The water behavior on, on, the, um, on the paint pots is, of course, amazing. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. It is day 0.1 of protection. It has not yet seen outside. Of course, it's going to be amazing. If I put some water on this now and it's, it's not beading, sheeting, you know, being repellent, then we've got a problem. I've redressed the tires. I've started the whole journey for these tires anyway. So we're going to start rather than dressing them, we're going to be moisturizing them. And we're now going to start building up the layers of Dress V2. And yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. Not my typical content. So I am looking forward to this feedback. Tell me, I never want to see horrible high mileage Audis again. Fine, I'll take it. If, if you like more content like this, I'm sure something else will be organized. So I look forward to your comments in the comments. And thank you once again for supporting the channel. I love you all as always, guys. Thank you. I'll catch you in the next one.